What really excites me as a New Yorker about this project is the opportunity not to just reinvent the payphones, but really reinvent New York City. I'm really excited about getting more connected to where I live. I'm very, very excited to be plugged into the DNA of the city, to have these, this kind of living, breathing, technological organism telling me uh, what's happening in the city. New York is always about reinventing and creating new things, so let's keep going with it. We've designed this payphone booth with an array of sensors that's modular in nature that can be upgraded over time, including GPS sensors to identify your location, ambient light sensors to modify the display to meet the environment, as well as a host of other sensors like accelerometers and gyroscopes to provide alternate input means. On the exterior, we imagine public advertising and community messaging. On the inside, it's geared more towards personal information, civic profiles, wayfinding. By creating a network of sensors throughout the city that's inherently open to the public for analysis and research, it allows the citizens control of the data. One of the biggest problems with data collection and using data for, for visualizations or software building is that consistency is an issue. We don't really have even distributions of data points all the time across an entire uh, landscape. And that's kind of what the phone booths provide. They collect this information at regular intervals and in very standard formats so that anyone at a hackathon could understand a lot better how they should build an application to respond to the city because they'll have these regular data points to cull from. We want to find a way to build a system that 10 years from now is going to adapt organically to new technologies as they're developed. These systems should respond to our voice respond to touch, respond to people speaking in multiple languages. We can create these systems so they're going to be able to slot in other technologies uh, as they become apparent and available to the marketplace. The opportunity here, it really has to do with the evolution of the city as a living thing. And we are evolving a new organ for the city to have. This is uh, a way for the citizens of the city to talk to the city and also hear the city speak back to them. And to that end, I think that creating an open framework is crucial. The structure could allow unlocking of bike rental racks from um, different parts of the city, and you could pay your uni meter, you could pay your parking tickets. Everything can be kind of consolidated, and um, the way that we can do that is make people gravitate towards it. New York City in itself is one of the strongest inspiring places for art and culture for the world and we have a chance to really extend this platform and have people upload their work. It gives them a chance to be seen and then let somebody else be seen. Any given unit uh, installed on the street corner has the potential to be used by a major brand as well as it has the potential to be used and um, the opportunity to be used by a local mom and pop shop. Um, and this is a key difference pretty much from any other type of media. A mom and pop shop can't buy the front page of the New York Times. A mom and pop shop can't buy an ad slot in the Super Bowl yet this incredibly new, incredibly state-of-the-art new platform across, across the city will be available to grow small businesses. And this is of uh, great importance for the city from an economic perspective. The smart thing about what Control Group are doing and building is creating an open source platform that allows us to respond to changes in advertising needs, advertising trends uh, quickly, intuitively, and elegantly. This platform is unprecedented in a way. When, when people change advertising uh, in every city around the world, they tweak it, they change a little bit, they add a new screen. Uh, what we're talking about here is a, is a radical reimagining of what should be here. We see the ubiquity of the payphone being a key benefit. Much like the street light or the fire hydrant, they are everywhere. We don't appreciate them because they're not useful. But imagine if the payphone had a million and one uses, was constantly upgraded, and provided features that you used every day. A payphone wouldn't be an eyesore. It would be something that you looked for as a familiar object, something to guide you on your way, on your way across the city and, and through your interaction with the city.